Okay, so get this. We're talking about footprints. Footprints? Fossilized footprints. Oh, wow. Yeah, but not just any fossilized footprints. These are in Kenya, and they're 1.5 million years old. Seriously? That's incredible. I know, right? But wait, there's more. These footprints are from two different human ancestors. We've got Homo erectus. Ah, Homo erectus, the famous upright walker. Exactly, and Paranthropus boisei. Paranthropus boisei. Now, those guys were interesting. They were. So we're going to dive deep into these footprints. Sounds like fun. It is. And we're going to look at what these footprints tell us about these two species. Like, did they know each other? I mean, they were living in the same area. Right. And what can these footprints tell us that fossils can't? Well, for one thing, these footprints confirm that Homo erectus and Paranthropus boise were living in the same place at the same time. Which we thought, but... We thought so, based on the dating of the fossils. But this is, like, proof positive. Like catching them red-handed or red-footed, I guess. Exactly. And what's really cool is that we can tell a lot about how these early humans moved just by looking at their footprints. Yeah. So let's talk about these two species. First up, Homo erectus. Okay, so Homo erectus. Imagine a human ancestor that's already looking a lot like us. Mm. They were taller than earlier hominids. And, and they had bigger brains. Right, bigger brains. And their skeletons tell us they were built for walking and running long distances. Which makes sense because they spread out of Africa. Exactly. They were real pioneers. Now, Paranthropus boisei was a different story. Oh, yeah. These guys were built like tanks. They had these massive jaws and huge teeth. For chewing. For chewing all day long. They were eating tough plant material, roots, tubers, that sort of thing. So Homo erectus, the marathon runner. Paranthropus boisei, the ultimate vegan. Pretty much. <laughs> so if we're looking at these footprints, how can scientists tell who made which print? That's where the science of footprint analysis comes in. Footprint analysis. It's a thing. And these scientists can look at the shape of the footprint, the length of the stride, the depth of the impression. All these things give clues about who made the print. And what are these footprints telling us? Well, Homo erectus, as you might expect, was walking with a heel-to-toe gait, just like us. So they were already walking like modern humans. Exactly. They were very efficient walkers. What about Paranthropus boise? Ah, now this is where things get interesting. Their footprints show that their big toe was much more flexible than ours. More flexible? What do you mean? Well, imagine our primate ancestors swinging through the trees. They needed a big toe that could grasp branches, almost like a thumb. Right. Paranthropus boise seems to have retained some of that flexibility in their big toe. Even though they were walking upright? Even though they were walking upright, it's like they were still transitioning. So their feet were kind of a mix of ancient and modern. Exactly. And this tells us that bipedalism, walking on two legs, didn't evolve in a straight line. It was more like a branching tree. Right. Different species, different ways of walking upright. Okay, so think about this. We've got Homo erectus and Paranthropus boise. Yeah. Both walking around the same area. Leaving their footprints in the mud. 1.5 million years ago. Mind-blowing, isn't it? They had to have known each other. Yeah. What do you think their interactions were like? I mean, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Did they compete for resources? Or did they avoid each other? Maybe they even cooperated sometimes. Possibly. We can only speculate. But it's amazing to think that these footprints give us a tiny window into their lives. It's a snapshot of their world. It's like we're right there with them. Almost. And it makes you realize that the human story is so much more complex than we often think. And that's what's so cool about these footprints. They're not just footprints. They're clues. Clues to a very deep and mysterious past. If you enjoyed this deep dive, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And let us know in the comments what you thought about this incredible discovery. What other mysteries about our ancestors might footprints reveal? Maybe we'll find out in our next deep dive. Until then, keep exploring. Keep exploring.